So you started training at like one of the most legendary original San Diego academies. What was training jiu-jitsu back then like? Do you want to know the whole story of how I got into jiu-jitsu? It's pretty funny. <laughs> so um, I, the first time I'd ever heard of jiu-jitsu was uh, my dad used to read Black Belt magazine. And uh, he had told me about this Brazilian guy that was choking people out, wasn't interested. And uh, my dad being, you know, had done karate in his youth and he would always want, want me to get in, into some type of martial art. And uh, one day, just out of sheer coincidence, uh, this is back when we had pay-per-view channels that would just show commercials all day. They showed Ultimate Fighting Championship 5, Gracie versus Shamrock. And I was like, hmm. I was like, they're fighting for real. I was like, okay. So then I saw the commercial again, went down to Blockbuster, and, or I'm sorry, Hollywood Video, rented every VHS they had of the UFC, and just kind of like got obsessed with like watching all these fights looked up the yellow pages because there was no internet and found Fabio Santos, um, Nelson Monteiro and Del Mar. And the closest one in my house since I didn't drive at the time was Fabio Santos. So it was a no brainer. And uh, like I said, my first time go walking in there, you walk in and there's like Fabio with like all the pictures of the Gracies and you're like, holy shit, like I'm, I'm, this is like for real, this is happening. My first instructor, he, taught me a hip throw to arm bar. That was it. And then after that, I was like, I told my dad, I said, I want to sign up. And my dad was stoked. He was like, cool. After that, just kept going and training. And training at Fabio's was, uh, it was an interesting time. I met a lot of cool people. You, I met Dean Lister when he was just a blue belt. You know, he was, I think he was like 18 or 19 years old. Um, Jocko was there, uh, Jeff Higgs, um, just uh, all kinds of, of uh, just top-notch people that, um, that it's crazy to see how, you know, everybody's gone in their own directions and created their own thing. You got Dean that went on to become at, before Gordon Ryan, I had considered Dean the best American grappler of all time. And then, um, you know, everybody knows Jocko now. Um, training Jiu-Jitsu back then was, um, there was a lot more physicality. Uh, that, that is for sure. Uh, I think, Nowadays, a lot of uh, it, it's gotten way more technically refined. Uh, you got to understand that back then, when I first started training, everybody that was there had some type of martial arts background that wanted to do jujitsu. So we had guys that had been doing Kempo for 20 years. We had kickboxing champions that wanted to do. So these guys all, most of them had some type of athletic background, right? Um, I walked in off the street, 135 pounds, soaking wet. And um, it was, there was a lot more physicality. It was a lot rougher. And, um, you know, it was, uh, it was interesting because I, I saw jujitsu evolve at, at a certain time. And when I first started training, if you were taking jujitsu, because you wanted to learn to fight. That, that was it. Like you wanted to be a fighter. There was no competitions. There was no nothing. Like maybe... I think there was like two competitions a year, like uh, the Clever Luciano Open. Uh, and then there was like some random one that, that somebody would put on, but that was it. Pan Ams were still in Brazil. Worlds were still in Brazil. So it's like, good luck. Like, I don't know who had the money back then to fly to Brazil every time they got, but um, it was interesting. What the difference is like technique wise back then and today? Um, technique wise, I would say it was a lot more basic. Um, nowadays you have like a lot of different tricks people do with the gi and, and, um, you know, back then it was, it was definitely a lot more fundamental. So I feel like, like, uh, definitely if somebody were to have gotten in a street fight back in the day, they, they, they'd be able to resort to those fundamentals like every time. Right. Uh, nowadays with people playing all these guards. I'm not saying anything that there's nothing wrong with it. It's fun. I do it sometimes at the academy, but there was a sense of of, of jujitsu having a fight identity back in the day, and that's kind of like changed within the last, I'd say, from 2010 and up. Now it's more of a sport. Right? And you know the thing about training at Fabio's is that I don't think there was ever a time where somebody denied me any type of like knowledge. Everybody was always willing to help you out. 
whether it was like training for competition or whether it was like you had a question, they would answer it to the best of your ability. I never wrestled in my life. The first person to ever teach me anything about wrestling was Dean. He was the first person to show me, it was something called like the, I don't remember it, but it was like the barbed wire. And, um, and he was the first person to ever introduce me to, to wrestling. 